Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Ravi Katanasha, who's the APEC Chief Technology Officer at Dynatrace. Ravi joins us today to update us on some of the new things that Dynatrace currently has released to the market. Thanks for joining us today, Rafi, and welcome to the jam. Great pleasure to be with you. Awesome. So um, just to start us off, for someone that's unfamiliar with Dynatrace, uh, what are some of your key products and offerings? Yeah, I mean, in simple terms, Dynatrace helps organizations deliver flawless and secure digital interactions. We have a platform that is, uh, we, we label it under software intelligence platform to ensure that we observe all of their, you know, let's say operational models and help them manage the software across that life cycle. Absolutely. And um, in terms of your new announcements, you recently launched Grail. Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about this is and what kind of problems uh, this solves in the IT business? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, we see that there's a lot of, as people sort of digitize and leverage cloud and hybrid cloud, we see that there's a huge amount of new uh, data that's being generated. And there's new need for also this data to be sort of uh, ingested and stored to be leveraged against governance use cases, resilience use cases, business optimization use cases, and so on. And when we were sort of looking, you know, we always look 10 years ahead, five to 10 years ahead, we couldn't see anything that was able to ingest and, you know, the, the amount of data that was anticipated in a cost effective way that allows people to have real time specific answers to these sort of questions. So it, we've been working on this for the last three, four years, trying to come up with, you know, something maybe if, like it, for those who love tech, you know, probably you get excited about these terminologies, maybe big buzzwords. We like to think of it as a data lake house with massive parallel processing. Now, in simple terms, it's a highly cost effective, uh, highly scalable a way of you to be able to deal with your observability, security, and business automation use cases with AI right at the heart to provide the real-time answers. Our mission as a company is to help provide precise answers and intelligent automation from data. And this enables that sort of mission by having the data and AI in a limitless way or in a in a highly scalable way, at cost-effective way, and then we can then analyze and provide answers to our customers so they can intelligently automate on top of it. Fantastic. Yeah, and you said, obviously, it's a couple of uh, years in the making. Why do you believe now's the right time for Grail? Well, now, as, as companies are moving and digitizing faster, there is actually, I mean, our target audience is really large, 15,000 globally. So in the APAC region, you know, that's about three, 4,000 customers. In the ANZ market, we're talking about top 500 companies. And these companies have spent a lot of money and effort over the last 50 years building their existing environments, right? And so a lot of these environments are being moved as we speak, right? I mean, they're being transformed and digitized and updated and migrated. And, you know, over the next few years, we see the amount of data, the volume of data and the cost of this data is going to become an even bigger um, a challenge for these organizations. So we always look ahead, anticipate where the market is heading as to, to help our customers basically deal with that. And that's why we've been sort of a Gartner uh, vision and execution leader for the last 12 years, right? And, and that's because we keep anticipating and keep sort of delivering for the future needs. So almost like future proofing our customers uh, move to the cloud to help them, which is, you know, our, our uh, to help them do cloud done right, which is, you know, our new branding, if you want, on our, our website. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you've mentioned it a little bit, but um, your strategy is focused towards um, data with context. Uh, yeah. What do you think this means for IT users going forward? Well, what it really means is you think about the different stakeholders in this sort of uh, you know, IT business. Every business is digital. Every business now is learning to become a software company. So, you know, you've got the, you know, the business application owners at the front end who are really interested in delivering you know, faster to market, making sure that there's more uh, you know, stickiness, more users, more satisfied users, more better digital experiences. We, we like to think of that as flawless and secure digital experiences that these stakeholders need to deliver and do it in a cost-effective fashion. So that, that's one stakeholder. The other stakeholder that needs data in context is the development and the DevOps teams who are actually delivering and getting the speed from the business to push things quickly. So they need to start getting and seeing things, not just in their development environment, but also in production environments in context of what really means to deliver that business outcome that those users need. And of course, then the new teams, if you want the SRE teams that are more like product managers, 
helping to deliver those platforms in a self-service fashion to the DevOps teams, they need to ensure that, the, well, that these platforms are running securely and resiliently to ensure that they're delivering the outcome because that's where the rubber meets the road, right, on, in their production environment. And they need to see data in context rather than seeing things just in technical terms. They can understand business impact. They can understand, you know, the relevance that it has to the business. And also the business can also see I can share what I like to think of as a, you know, a common lingua franca. So the common language, common metrics with a common platform to help better collaboration from the same source of data as opposed business uses their own data, development uses their own data, and SRE teams use their own data. And everybody's talking different, different things in different languages and measuring things differently. So that's what we really mean by data in context to that user. And ultimately, you know, once we derive those answers or precise answers, our ultimate mission is to help people intelligently automate. So we don't want people to be woken up, you know, unnecessarily or, you know, certain decisions can be automated so the business can focus on innovation and scaling your business. I mean, that's the key thing. As you add more and more digital services, you know, you cannot, you impossible to think that you can scale your business at, at a human scale, right? You can't just add bodies to deal with these additional digital services, it's just not gonna work. So you need to start getting higher efficiency and effectiveness and scaling your teams to deliver these extra digital services with that added complexity that I spoke about just a few minutes ago. Absolutely, yeah, definitely looking at the um, big picture of stuff. Yeah. Um, in terms of, uh, you've also announced your Davis AI engine. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, Davis AI, we've always had since the reinvention of, of Dynatrace, where we've launched back in 2016. And that was, you know, the, the, the first and only AI engine that's right built into the platform from the ground up. And uh, so we kept innovating and enhancing the use cases, obviously, of Davis, right, uh, to be able to add. And most recently, we've enhanced David to take advantage of, you know, this new uh, boundless data storage that, that with cost-effective data storage, but providing, let's say, business analysts and uh, application owners and uh, you know SRE teams and DevOps teams to be able to ad hocly interact with Davis to ask questions that uh, they either didn't think about you know earlier or uh, some turn of events that have come that they need to ask the data. I mean, we've we've seen you know situations over the last year where there is. For instance, security issues around Log4j or Spring for Shell, or more recently, some of those issues around data leakage. Sometimes, you know, these create a need for businesses to ask questions of the data and they need real time. So that is where we've enabled them to ask intelligently Davis to help them, you know, answer some of these questions, uh, potentially not just known questions, but unknown unknowns as we talk about in the world of observability. So questions that they didn't know they're going to ask, but now becomes necessary to answer them to run their business more efficiently, more effectively. Yeah, very useful tool. Um, and just to finish off, um, if a partner or an enterprise end user wanted to engage with you guys at Dynatrace, what would be the best way? Well, look, I mean, we are very partner centric. We've got a whole team of, of uh, team that are helping both the technology partners, you know, the, uh, you know, AWS, Google and uh, AWS uh, and um, Google Cloud, as well as Red Hat but also some of those sort of large partners. So we've got a team. You can obviously contact us via the website. You can, you know, lift up a phone and just, you know, speak to us. We've got a team distributed across ANZ, in, across actually APAC. We've got a, maybe in ANZ, we've got probably about 200, 200 plus team members here and growing. We're growing roughly at about 30, 35% every year. So to be able to address this demand and this need and exciting new opportunities to help the ANZ market to be able to deliver highly secure and flawless digital experiences to all the citizens and the constituents and the employees and, you know, us users at the back end of it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Look, again, thanks so much for joining us today, Arafi, and we really appreciate your time and look forward to hearing more from Dynatrace in the future. A great pleasure to be with you and appreciate your time as well. Look forward to you know, our next conversation.